everyone, Dan Bassett here, Sailing and Adventures. We're out, uh, out fishing for place today. Um, not bad conditions, tides are a bit small, but to be fair, it's more of a day out of the house, and if we get a fish, it is definitely going to be a bonus. Um, yeah, as I say, I've got one rod out fishing already, that's with a, uh, a long up and over rig. Uh, a few of you may remember almost this time last year, beginning of the first lockdown, I did a, there's a video on YouTube where I talked about some of the rigs that I use. Um, and I'm using exactly the same today. So I've got one out with a long up and over on, and on my second rod, I'm just about to bait up, I've got a loop rig on there. Just thought I'd quickly show you uh, how I bait up with mussels for bait. I'm going to have ragworm on one hook, uh, mussels on the other, just a bit of a variety, see, you know, see what works. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you what I got. Oh, I don't really know the name of them. It's a, I've got a little tool, it's for a bulb planter. I think I got it from Aldi's or Lidl's, one of the middle aisle specials. It's the, uh, the end of a bulb planter, cut that off, cut it in half, got the Dremel on it, cut it in half so you get two tools out of one. There are other baiting tools on the market already. And they're all, you know, a lot of them are fantastic to be fair, but this is what I use. Bulb planter cut in half, as you can see, and in the end, got the Dremel drill on it. I've just cut a little slot in the end there. What you do with these, same as, same as most other similar baiting tools, but this is just ideal for the smaller, more delicate baits, as you can see, you know, you can see how small it is. Same as usual, put your hook, put that into the little slit, the hook there, lay that down. Now I've already, I've already shelled some mussels. Got a bag full of mussels here as well, got them fresh from work yesterday. I've already shelled a few, you do. Got the meats here, nice fresh mussel. I'm just gonna sit them on top there. Just sit it there on top of the hook. I've cut out three. One, two, three. That's it. You just literally rest them there on top. Bait elastic. And literally, just whip it on. There. Plenty of bait elastic on here. You'll have to excuse me, I've just got one eye on father. I'm down here with the old man today and just reeling in there now and I'm wondering if he's got a fish on. If he has, we'll go over and have a look and see what he's got in a minute. And he has. I knew I should have left him at home. <laughs> First cast, he's got looks, looks, uh, yeah, looks like he's got himself a little place. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, that's it, all baited on there. See the hook there, coming down through the little slit in the top. And all I'll do, once I've got it nice and secure, get my finger and just push the bait straight off the tool. Oh, a bit stiff. Push them straight off. That's it, nice little delicate muscle bait there. a bit of extra cotton elastic just over the top of the bait just to secure it over the eye of the hook a bit better there you 
go. Probably a little muscle bait. So I'll put ragworm on the top hook, see what works. If we start getting more fish on the mussels, we use them. Start getting majority of the fish on the ragworm, we just stick with rag. So uh, yeah, that's how I bait up with the more delicate baits, mussels. Just a little bowl planter, cut it in half, you get two tools out of one, I think it costs a couple of quid. Works a treat every time. My turn now hopefully, I'm going to hurry up and get this next bait in the water. So the old man's just caught one fish, a little place, so I need to try and catch up with him, otherwise I'll never live it down. So gear of day, um, Century, Tech Tornado LD, lovely little rod, perfect for placing. Passed down to a uh, 7HT mag, that's £15 Varavas Yellow Sport on there, down to an £80 leader. You've got your link rig, ragworm on the top, mussels on the bottom, mixture of different colour beads. Let's get this one out there, see if I can catch up with it. Here he is, that's father's fish as I was baiting up. First cast, nice little play straight away, not a big fish. Look at the markings on this one, look. Beautiful, prime example. We'll get her back now, fight another day. little fishy, get yourself together. Can look like that. So that fish will be fine. Let him sit there for a minute, let him recover. One nil! It's on!
go folks. Fish number two. Unfortunately, unfortunately he didn't get the first fish on camera that I had, but it's now 2-1. Father's gone a bit quiet over there. There we go. Second fish. Should have been 3-1 unfortunately. First fish I hooked into. Lost it in close. So um, yeah, I was reeling as fast as I could, but unfortunately it got snagged in. Um, we're gonna wait till the tide drops a little bit. It's not big tides, but hopefully we might be able to retrieve the trace and unhook the fish later. Wait for the tide to drop, but there we go. Fish number two. Get this one on up. Quite back. Right. I went a little bit quiet. A little bit quiet over slack water, but we've. Well, I'll say we. I've just had a few little taps then. Just a slight little drop back, but it can be a little bit of slack line then, so. I've kept it quiet, but let's reel this in, see if we can make it 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. go. It's a better fish. The old man still have realised. There you go. I'm starting to run away with it now. Takes us to 3 1. Lovely. Beautiful day today. Wasn't expecting much to be honest because it is small tides. But we thought we'd come along anyway. To be fair, just to get out of the house. But um, yeah, considering the tides, it's turned out to be a good day. We've had, well, yeah, four fish landed now. Four fish landed, one lost. Turn out to be a good day.
go, so much for going quiet. Fish are still feeding. So we've had no big fish today. The biggest at the moment, probably about a pound and a half. But uh, as you can see, as is quite often the case with the place, you know, they're all prime, prime condition, lovely fish. There you go. Four one. Fingers crossed, father can get a few more out. I'll, um, some people can get a bit, a bit funny about how they fish and where they fish, but to be fair, we come here today in the hope of catching place, obviously. Um, but we were sort of half expected not to get anything, just purely because of the tides. So it was, like I said earlier, it's a day out. If we got a fish, it would be a bonus, regardless of who's caught it. And to be fair, I've had four plates now. Um, I've had a good day. We both had a good day. So I don't know if he will or not, but I'll see if the old man wants to put one of his rods on my rod, rod rest now. It'd be nice to see him get one or two more out. So uh, yeah, you say if you see him, mate. Not struggling. To say struggling, not that he's struggling by any means, but you know, just give him the offer. Just see if he, you know, or drop down to one rod. See if your mate wants to put his rod on your rod rest. It just might be a case of the fish are just holding in front of me and into a certain area, and uh, you know, nobody likes to be stood there catching fish and watching the boat next to you blank. It's um, yeah, just put the offer out there. I'll see if he wants to. Put a rod next to mine, fish in the same area. Let's say, fingers crossed, we get one or two more. There he is, Bill Bassett. Let's see if he's managed to snag himself another one. As you can see, father's fishing light today, he's got himself a bass rod. He loves those little bait caster reels. Tends to take a more laid back approach to fishing though, Father. It's, uh, he's been at it for years and I think it is a case of being there, done it. So he likes to take a more laid back approach and just enjoy himself now. Which to be fair, is exactly what fishing's all about. There he is. Oh my God, I was just about to say 4-2 but are you going to count that? <laughs> so have a look at him. There we go. Smallest of the day. You can say smallest of the day, but still a beautiful fish. Magic. Is it? We are done. End of the session. It's uh, what did we end up with? Six. Uh, six. 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 Right, yeah. Six. Lost, lost one fish. Uh, four to myself. Uh, two to father. Yeah, six fish landed. As I've said earlier, considering the you know the tides, all the other conditions have been perfect. But considering the tides, we weren't really expecting much. So six fish can't really grumble. But to be fair, we come here with the expectation of not really getting a lot, do we? Just coming out from the day, coming up from the walk, a bit of sun. That's it. it like you say, it was genuinely a case of if we got a fish, it was a bonus, regardless of who caught it. And, um, well, we have uh, we did what we set out to do. We both landed place. So that is it. That's us done. Yeah. 